Here is the Celestron Travel Scope 80, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to set it up. I'm going to be taking everything out of the box and walking you through the full process. Let's get started. So as you can see, I've taken all of the components out that you're going to need to use and operate the telescope from the backpack. So bear that in mind, all the components are stored in the backpack. Now, the backpack is great because it has different compartments for storing all of those different pieces. Now, as you'll probably notice, I do have some external packaging, and that's because I bought my Travelscope 80 from new. So you may or may not have that if you're buying it secondhand. But one little tip is I would recommend keeping hold of this packaging because it is useful if you do want to store your telescope away for an extended period of time and you want to keep it protected. So let's go ahead and assemble this telescope. So the first thing we need to do is set up the tripod. Thankfully, it comes pre-assembled, so it's very quick and easy to do. All you essentially need to do is undo all of these. So there should be six because you've got two on each leg, three legs being a tripod and basically extend as far as they go. So there's essentially two bits you need to extend. The first part is here, and the second part will be here. You want to do that for all legs and make sure that each leg has been fully extended. You need your tripod to be stable. So I'll just do that off of screen, but you get the idea. I'm just extending all legs and making sure they are all at maximum length and are also locked in. So all we need to do now is just put this up like this and extend each leg make sure that's nice and secure they're all kind of locked in now if you do want to extend the height of the tripod even further this little lever here enables you to do that so make sure you go the right way so if i just turn here you'll notice hopefully that's going up so that enables you to extend even further At the same time i should have mentioned i've extended these the full way if you did want to kind of make them a little bit shorter you can but as i say just make sure that they are even whatever suits your particular needs we're now ready to add the optical tube. So revert back to your tripod. And what you essentially want to do is play around with these different um, elements, if you like, controls, I should say, to manipulate it so that this appears on the top. Now I'm going to screw this in place. I think it's clockwise. Oh no, it'll be this way then. Screw this in place so that Basically, I want this to remain on the top. And then we want to remove this little bit here. So I'm gonna unscrew that bit there. And there's this interesting little thing here. If I pull this toward me, then this comes out. And that's what we're going to use for the next step. So now it's time to screw the quick release mounting plate, which is this, to the optical tube. I recommend doing this on the floor, preferably somewhere with carpet or somewhere that's safe. Now to do this, what you essentially need to do, if we have a look at this here, you've got four different holes. Now, if I show you the mounting plate, this screw here is going to go into one of these. So either this one or this one. It just depends which direction round you basically are putting it on. And then this little kind of bit here is going to go into either that one or that one. So to try and not confuse you any further, I'm going to be using these two here. So essentially, you just need to align it. Now, it's, you've got to be a little bit careful with your optical tube here. You don't want it to go anywhere. So basically, I'm going to put it in here like that make sure it's aligned so let me just show you make sure they're aligned like that and then i need to screw this see that little silver screw you need to screw that basically around so it's attached i'm actually going to pause the video do that and then show you again so i've now lined it up and started the screwing process and you'll see that we are somewhat attached but all i basically was doing is this i'm turning this round clockwise till it screws in nice and tightly so now it's time to add the optical tube to the tripod. Now I've moved the tripod around, I've manipulated it so we can see it basically in this position. That's what I'd recommend you try and get to by manipulating the various knobs. Now this bit is really important because if you don't put it on the right way round, you're gonna have issues when it comes to using the different levers to basically manipulate where the telescope is pointing. So we wanna put it on in this direction, okay? So hopefully you can see that, align it in, Make sure that's kind of clicked in place. So let me just try uh, that way first. I might need to move that out of the way a bit. So I've put that in now. Sorry, it was a little, if that was off screen. But you'll notice that kind of clipped in there, it went under there. And at which point, you'll see the free lock, we want to pull that towards us. And that will keep this in place. So when it comes to now manipulating the telescope, if we use this lever here, we should now be able to go yeah, that gives us more, more range there. If I was to, let me just secure that actually. Let me just undo this. 
But yeah, maybe at this point, just lock everything in place. There we go, got a lot more movement. But just lock everything in place, maybe go around and just make sure everything is secure, because in that way you can just make sure the optical tube is safe on the tripod and then you can play around with those in due course. So in the previous step, I advised on just ensuring that everything was tight and locked in to keep your optical tube protected. But I just wanna show you how you can manipulate the different knobs to basically move the telescope to where you want to look, basically the point and shoot idea of this particular telescope design. This is called a pan handle. And if you unscrew this, what that's gonna enable you to do is move, I'm gonna do this a little bit, is basically move this um, up and down essentially. Let me just, I think I need to release it a bit more. I want to protect the telescope because that will happen. So you've got to be really careful as you can see. And that's how I know that this is all secured in here really well. But you get the idea. That's called the pan handle. It enables you to move it around on that kind of axis. So let me now just secure that while being really careful. It's really hard to do. Right, there we go. Well, I say it's really hard to do. It's hard to do for me because I'm recording. But for you, it should be straightforward. The other knob to be aware of is this one. And if you undo that one, that's going to enable you to basically give you more kind of freedom to move it here. So just bear that in mind. That's the other one to be aware of. So when it comes to moving the telescope, where you want it to go, up, down, left, right, that's left, right, if you like, and this is up, down. I'm now gonna be showing you how to install the diagonal. Now this is a 45 degree erect image diagonal that basically corrects the image to be the right side up and oriented correctly with left to right. So that's really important when it comes to observing, it will just make your experiences so much more enjoyable. Now to basically install it, all you need to do is take the two caps off. You'll see one there and one here. Just get that one other off. off. So take those two off. I've now done that. And you'll notice there's a screw. There's a screw here. I'm gonna unscrew that a little bit, just ahead of time. Again, anti-clockwise. Remember with a lot of this, a lot of it to unscrew is anti-clockwise and to screw it on is clockwise if you like. At which point, go to your telescope, and we're gonna go here. Again, unscrew these, there's two. Just make sure you don't go too far, or otherwise you're gonna lose them. Take this out. Make sure you keep hold of your caps as well. Sometimes it's even better to um, ensure that you maybe even write a note to know what each cap does and where it's supposed to go, because otherwise it can get confusing. At this point, you wanna put the chrome part of the diagonal in here, and then we're just gonna re-screw, okay? So that's clockwise here, and that'll be clockwise there, and then that diagonal is now securely in place. We'll touch upon this in the next step. At which point we can install one of the eyepieces. I've got the 20 mil eyepiece out, and then there's the 10 mil just in its protective case, just to show you. You can use either one of these, but I would recommend starting with the 20 mil. That will give you a wider field of view in other words, you can see more of the sky at once. So it's easier to find a target. And then once you've found it, you switch to the 10 millimeter. But anyway, to unscrew this and then to install the eyepiece, again, chrome piece in. I don't think I've done that enough. Into the diagonal. It will slide in and then you are screwing that eyepiece in place here. And that should be all ready to go. So now we're going to install the finder scope. So the first thing to be aware of is just make sure that the larger end is facing the same end that your optical tube is facing out, if that makes sense. So again, just remove the caps and look after them. Um, and then basically all we're doing here is unscrewing these two. You need to take these off again. Make sure you've got pockets that are empty or you've got somewhere to put all of this because you need to take these fully off. There's one here. I screwed on quite tight, or quite far, I should say. So one there, I'm gonna put it actually on the tripod while I, as you flick like that, it works well. So like that. And then, nearly there, wow. I'm actually gonna remove this yellow thing for now. I don't need that anymore. It's actually on there quite secure. Let's get rid of that. And then again, make sure we're lined up like that. Um, the right way, yeah, and then you use these screws and you basically just screw that into place. Obviously, the, the more you screw, the, the more flush and tighter that finer scope will be. I'm gonna get the other one now and I'm going to screw that on here, yeah, right way around the other side. 
So I'll screw that in my own time, but that's essentially how it works. And then just make sure you obviously take that cap off as well when you're ready to use. So that essentially is the setup of the Celestron Travelscope AT. But before you can effectively use it, there are a couple of other things that you're going to want to do. The first of which is aligning the finder scope. And that ensures that it is pointing in the same direction as your main telescope. So you use your finder scope to find objects and then obviously you look through the eyepiece to look more closely at it. But you need to make sure that those are aligned. Now to do that is very straightforward. It's recommended to do this during the day. Basically remove the lens cap and locate a distant daytime object such as a signpost, a radio antenna, a chimney. You get the idea. Just make sure that object is at least a quarter of a mile away. At which point you want to center this object that you've chosen in the main telescope using the 20 millimeter eyepiece. So I've obviously got that in there now. So I'd be looking basically at that. Let's just say we're going for a chimney. We're looking at that chimney through this eyepiece here. Without moving the telescope, you then want to turn the adjustment thumb screws located around the finoscope bracket, which are these three here. So one at the top here, two on the left and three on the right. You basically want to move those until the crosshairs of the finoscope are centered on the object that you've chosen in the main telescope. So in our example, it would be the chimney. So that's the first thing you're gonna to want to do and that will align your telescope and finoscope. The other thing you're gonna to want to do is focus. So to focus your travel scope, you just need to turn the focus knob located near the rear of the telescope while looking through the telescope eyepiece. So let's just say you're looking through here, you basically want to manipulate, uh, let me just show you, that there. So that basically, if I just show you, that just goes forwards and backwards and that enables you to essentially focus. Now you do need to do that every single time you change eyepiece, just bear that in mind. So that is the setup and how to basically use the Celestron Travelscope AT. I hope this video has been useful. Over to you and best of luck.